morning, everyone, and welcome. Uh, normally, we start at 10 o'clock uh, every day live. Uh, before we start, uh, we have a disclosure. Please read the disclosure. Uh, we will be following three different automated trade in here. And uh, normally, we start at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time, and uh, there is 10 minutes. Before our starting time, maybe we can pick up some signals. Uh, I'll stay quiet for the next 10 minutes, uh, and then uh, we'll start uh, covering uh, those three different automated trade uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern time. You're very welcome. And uh, if you want to follow any new signals during those time, you will find the new signal and the direction uh, on the first column for the future trading. As an example, on the last signal here, uh, we have an entry price 72.50, target seven, uh, uh, 27.65.50. And right now we are uh, nine ticks from that trade. And uh, let me take it down. And uh, this is exactly for, for the ES. And then the same story uh, on the Forex and the stocks, the same story, one minute and a base on one lot, the market analyzer. Here we have the scalpers, and here we have the ninja trader uh, swing trading uh, and the control panel right here. So all those details will, will be um, analyzing the market today, and uh, we will be covering the market uh, at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. In the meantime, I will be quiet a bit and uh, get everything ready. Thank you.
Uh, for the guys, uh, this one here on the left corner, uh, it is uh, the auto trade uh, signal. It's not, uh, but this one here, uh, that CL you see, let me see, are they the same? No, uh, this one here is the auto trade, uh, took it at uh, 71.68. And, uh, This one here is 7190. This one is a manual. This one here is an automated, folks. So this one here has nothing to do with uh, that trade right there. This one here is uh, from the price action. So, and this one here is a total. We have a new signal on the gold entry price, uh, 23 is uh, three, and the target 1220. Point six. I don't trade the gold uh, during the trading hours, and I have not traded the gold in a very long time. So I don't know if uh, any gold traders are out there. It's not our. Uh, it's not my piece of cake right now. So, um, but this is the signals. Um, we have a little pullback on that market. Uh, so we try to uh, trying to find a uh, trades in between also uh, we will be uh, please if you want to follow us uh, you're very welcome to follow us as long as you are on the follow us on a sim we're not allowed to call live trades for you please <coughs> Uh, oh, okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I've been uh, occupied and uh, thank you for uh, letting me know, uh, Tony. And um, man, this is red uh, on the signals. Uh, welcome to trade and everything is turning around. Uh, just hold. This is really red and uh, 
There is nothing we, we hide here. We show everything. But uh, this is really red when all the signals turn, turn around. And uh, that's mean there is a bit volatility. Uh, there is a new signal on the 30-year Treasury bond. It says sell. That is going to move the future market up because this one here, the 30-year Treasury bond, uh, going on the opposite direction of the ES. So by getting this a new signal on the 30-year Treasury bond sell at 13806, target 13731, that is going to confirm your ES and NASDAQ and Dow Jones. Uh, hopefully, it's going to start uh, moving. Uh, it's Friday. It's a bit tricky. Be careful. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Uh, uh, the market was extremely smooth earlier today, and uh, I have no uh, idea uh, for uh, the last hour, the market start getting into this volatility. Chop, chop, chop all the way for the last hour. But uh, during the daytime, I normally uh, predict uh, the the trades or the, the U.S. session by... Uh, looking at uh, uh, DAX uh, at the European time. And uh, if uh, we have a chop day on the European session, that's me. We're going to continue until the U.S. session normally. I mean, it's not things of black and white. And uh, today, actually, uh, it was an extremely uh, smooth ride uh, on the, the DAX. Let me show you my chart. I will show them to you. Uh, this is the, the chart I use every day, practically. Uh, this is the one minute. And uh, it was one trade, where yesterday had a lot of volatility. And... Uh, two trades on the three minutes and uh, the difference is nothing you know so uh, they were they were a really uh, very nice entry and it was done at the this is the way uh, we love to have the ducks like this every day but uh, like yesterday we had a lot of trades actually and uh, because uh, sometimes it happened, but most of the time, uh, the DAX on the one minute or it uh, comes in with a one, two, three trades and you're out of here. But uh, yesterday there was a lot actually on it. So um, a lot of turnaround uh, in the, on the CL, ES, NASDAQ and down zones just uh, um, be careful with it and uh, Tony highlighted I was busy uh, chatting on the Skype he said uh, there is an, it was a new signal on the ES is fine and uh, we have a YM and the Nasdaq let me see where is the Nasdaq we still on the, this is really uh, the, the the Nasdaq is on a, on a sell, a YM is on a sell, and a, an ES on a buy. This is a little messed up uh, market right now, uh, and uh, the Nasdaq and uh, the Dow Jones are on the opposite direction. I mean, uh, this is something wrong. When when you see that there is something wrong. When the market is not in sequence, when the the thirty year treasury bond is on the sell, and then the ES on the buy, fair enough. But then we have the Nasdaq and the YM has not turned around from the short to the long. That is a problem. So one of them is wrong. One of them is wrong. It could be the Nasdaq and the YM gonna drag the the ES to the short direction 
or the ES is going to drag both both of those markets to the long uh, direction. So as you see here in the and the Russell uh, actually into the buy direction. So there, there is a little bit mixed market here. And uh, I will be uh, uh, cautious uh, right now because I don't know which one is going to influence the other. Is it the ES is going to give up or is it uh, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones they're going to turn around and go with the ES? Every time when you see Every time when you see the ES, NASDAQ, and YM are not on the same direction and the 30-year Treasury bond on the opposite direction, that means you are looking for trouble right now as we speak. Uh, always, it never fell where if uh, the 30-year uh, the Treasury bond, the opposite should be the all three going on the opposite direction of the 30-year Treasury bond, then we have this market in sequence. But when we have the 30-year Treasury bond sell and the ES is buy, fair enough. But then we have the NASDAQ and the YM going to the opposite direction. That means there is a play in this market. So we don't know what will happen. And I don't know what is going to happen. It's going to take me a lot more than just looking at the chart. Then I need to start. Uh, looking at uh, a different uh, time frame and to pinpoint what's going on. But uh, for now, um, I have no clue uh, which direction this market is going to take, honestly. Uh, I think the uh, the, uh, the NASDAQ and the ES going to drag the, the ES, the NASDAQ and the YM, they're, they're going to drag the... Uh, the, the ES down and we will see uh, if this is going to happen so we will be uh, monitoring what is going to happen there's a projection right now on the ES And if we notice on the, the YM is to start taking the opposite direction and the target is uh, 25. Okay, that is gonna cause the, the YM to go the other, the ES going the other direction. Uh, so the NASDAQ is sitting on the sell position and actually it's not budging the entry price was 53 uh, there is a lot of sales coming out so uh, the nasdaq also we have a sell entry on the nasdaq if if you're not in that trade on the NASDAQ, uh, the entry price is 41.75. So you can take a short trade at 41.25 mark and uh, limited order sell right now on 41.25 on the NASDAQ. Uh, follow us on a sim on that one. We're not allowed to call it trades for you. But uh, this is the trade you need to take right now is uh, the 41. Um, uh, yeah, the 40, the 41. Um, yes, that's it. Your NASDAQ is going to go your direction. And I will try. This is uh, causing the ES. We have a new signal right now on the 30 year Treasury bond. Uh, the entry price on the 30 year Treasury bond 1560 and uh, 50.9 is your um, exit on the Russell. And we are going right in the direction with the NASDAQ. If there's anybody following me on the NASDAQ, Skype me, please. 
or um, if uh, somebody want me to call the trade on the ES, I will, but uh, let me catch up with all this. Um, Sir, I'm not going to be setting any setting when I'm going live uh, on the YouTube. I cannot deal with settings and uh, your personal problems with your computers or why you're not getting data from the YM. Call your broker. You have a problem with Ninja Trader, call Ninja Trader 8 support. We're not the butlers. And uh, please, uh, let's have some respect to the others. I cannot give those kind of supports when we are going live. Uh, we need to stick on the trades here. I have to monitor three different automated trade and a whole instruments. So uh, please, uh, let's have some respect to some other traders are seriously trying to learn how to trade today. Uh, we are about to, I'm sorry, I get distracted with those kind of messages. So let me uh, put my head together, trying to find out where I am. Uh, it is uh, my, I mean, it is, a, my plate is very full here. And now I'm distracted what I need to look for. Yes, uh, let me uh, try to find you a trade on the ES. Uh, just give me a second, sir and I will try to call a trade for you, or we can have the auto trade uh, taking a trade. Uh, thank you, Basharat, you are on the NQ, you're very welcome. Uh, you tell me, Basharat, what number uh, you're in, so I can keep my eye on you. You tell me which number you are in, sir. And um, I will be calling a manual trade. Uh, follow us on the sim. We're not allowed to call live trades for you folks. Uh, let me... I need also to... I need to, this one here on the uh, uh, CL, this is, has nothing to do with the auto trade. This is uh, different things. I don't want to manual. We have a projection. I think the party is over on the CL and uh, we have a double support and uh, we have, um, I think this one is over. We have a new signal again on the gold. It's playing yo-yo with us, the gold. Uh, the CL is over, folks. The CL is over. If you are on a CL trade, you need to uh, start looking for an exit. We are about to have a new signal. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, it's too late to call that trade on the ES for you, but uh, it's coming now with the auto trade, the new signal. I apologize. I missed it. 
Uh, there is a new uh, signal right now coming in on the ES. It's going to be at your market analyzer. I usually can nail it a minute before, uh, but I was distracted with the CL. I apologize. So I don't want to call a trade. It's already gone. But uh, there is a new uh, signal will be coming out on your ES. Please look at your market analyzer. And... Um, If um, if this ES, we have a double support line on the ES at 63.75. Once once we are below the 63.75 uh, on the ES, you're gonna see the YM and the Nasdaq gonna hammer down. So for the ones uh, the gentlemen are holding position on the Nasdaq. Uh, you can make it a, a plus one tick, and uh, so you will be on a free ride. Or if you want to hold on to this trade, you can hold on. The only thing is, if even if um, uh, if it come into your uh, where you enter the market, you don't feel good about it. Make it a plus one tick and get out of that trade. So it's not costing you anything. And then we can go back and re-enter the same number once the NASDAQ could drop to those numbers. Right now, my problem is this ES is not going below uh, the, uh, it's not going below uh, the, the, the seven, 64, you know what, guys? I'm so glad today is Friday. Man, I'm beat. Uh, 63.75. Oh, I love you, man. 425. Have a nice weekend. Get the hell out of Dutch. You're done. I'm out and done for today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. It's much more takes than uh, the other place you've been a couple days ago, isn't it? <laughs> we keep our eye on you. Anyway, um, uh, the, uh, the, and it is free. Uh, so uh, we have a problem with the ES at uh, 64.25. If this ES is coming right now at uh, 64.25, if that ES not able to penetrate the 64.25 and break it down to the downside, we are going to bump into extreme volatility and it's going to be a wild, wild, wild trade. So... Hopefully, this ES is going to go below the 63.75. Otherwise, this whole market is going to jam. The NASDAQ is going to drive you crazy. Everything is going to drive you banana. So now the I is on the 63.75, folks, on the ES. Right now, right here, there is a seller is coming in, and we could have a new signal on the ES right away. And... Um, and then uh, then uh, once we, we get this a new signal, you're going to see, okay, we are out of those trades on the YM. We're done with it. So for those guys on the NASDAQ, okay, there we go. We are about to break it. For the ones who are following me on that trade on the NASDAQ, you're doing very fine. And there we go, folks. We're about to have a new signal on the ES, and the market is going... I'm so glad the ES is going to go and drop below those numbers because that is going to ignite your NASDAQ and it's going to ignite your ES and your YM. If somebody, Ben, 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 where is Ben? Um, uh, yes, sir, I will cover the three. Okay, uh, yes, sir, with all the respect, I will cover it. A new signal on the ES, uh, 62 level. Uh, and uh, we got the new signal on the ES, folks. Uh, 62 level, uh, exit target 48. This is very nice. Exit target 48. And um, I'm out of everything right now, except the CL.
Uh, for the, uh, I'm 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 finished with the. Uh, for the Nasdaq, we call that rate. Uh, Basharat, can you remind me what number we called? Because I don't want it to be uh, messing up today. I'm sorry. What number we called the the? Uh, and it uh, forty one fifty or seventy five somewhere around there. I think I did call it one take before. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, 4175, I was right, because I that's what I usually do, one take. And uh, right now you are, uh, on the NASDAQ, you are 37, 36 takes. Am I right? And uh, the ES is uh, just in line. And... Uh, what else we have? The YM, we're done with the YM. Hit the target. Look, what when we hit the target, I mean, it's nothing left. We hit the target on the YM. Here is your uh, your your uh, the target with a double support line, and it came in right to the take. And uh, there is a pullback re-entry on that number. So this is nothing wrong with that. And there is a re-entry on the YM, if you want to follow that on SIM at your own risk, 5342, this is a pullback re-entry uh, on the YM. Uh, for, uh, let me see. Uh, NASDAQ, we are going in the right direction. And uh, the ES is a, st look, I mean, I'm skipping now on the, Here is your cell entry on the ES, and uh, the ES story is coming between those two lines. And this is where the two lines, I was hoping uh, the 63.75 will be able to break it. So if we notice right now, this ES is coming here with a double resistance line, and there is one support line, and it is going to drive us crazy a little bit, but uh, it's weak. And it is short. So for the traders are not taking or has not taken trade, you need to put your limited order at 61 level. Limited sell order on a sim 61. And there we go. He said goodbye. It's finished. It's over. There we go. Yes. Now uh, we nailed from that trade on the NASDAQ. You know, there is 100% uh, transparent here. We're not kind of, we're not playing this holy bully kind of those like what you see in those trading rooms. If there's any confusion uh, by uh, any of our traders, or if there is something is not clear, we are sitting here and um, we're putting all our work on the side and to be two hours to the public. And I don't want it to be fired back at my face. If there's anything or any doubt about anything, you just give it to me as is. Thank you, sir. So uh, I'm trying to cover three different auto trades trying to call the trades, trying to update with the automated. So I got my hands full, you know, and um, I could be making mistakes somewhere. And today is a Friday and I'm so glad it's Friday. But if there's any correction or something is miss, uh, go ahead and put me on your Skype. It's a BPT Trade Pro and tell me I made a mistake somewhere because this is the... I don't want to be rewarded with uh, somebody telling me I'm uh, doing anything wrong. I want you to let me know if you have any confusion on any of this one here. Otherwise, there is no use to sit down live every single day. 
thank you, sir. Uh, this um, thank you for this uh, compliment. Thank you, sir. Um, what is this guy, uh, Tony? Is see he here today? I go for a weekend and I'll be back on my... Yes, sir. Have a nice weekend, sir. Uh, sure, uh, sir. Uh, just uh, let me... Uh, on the on the three minutes we are already done on them uh, today. Long time ago. And on the five minutes, uh, this is uh, the I am a trade on the five minutes. And uh, on the ES, uh, this is the five minutes. On the NASDAQ, this is the three minutes on the CL. So they are still in the trades. You know, one thing about the swing trading, if this market moving, you will be making money and out trading any one has been trading for 10 years. And if this market is not uh, moving, my friend, uh, you're going to be wearing diapers like any other traders worldwide wearing diapers sometimes. So um, this is where <laughs> one day you get to go out on a beautiful date and one day you will be wearing diapers. Welcome to trading. And, <laughs> and uh, if you cannot handle it emotionally, get yourself a shrink. That's not what I can say about the trade. <laughs> this is the story about the trading, folks. You know, you never know where it's going to end at the end of the day. So, okay, we have a problem. And uh, and uh, on the ES, the ES is just not given up to the NASDAQ and the YM. And I said, God help us on this, and that is going to cause change in the whole market's momentum right now. The ES refusing to die with the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones. That is going to be mess. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be taking a five minutes of break for a fresh coffee. There is nothing I can call trades for you. And uh, we will be continuing in uh, five minutes and uh, get a fresh coffee and uh, maybe we can get a little bit more fresh. All right, guys, five minutes, thank you.
if you notice when you are uh, trading, uh, don't ever use a dummy trading stop. Right now we broke that one here, this area. If you wanna hang on to your trade for a long time, now you can see where's my uh, second trading stop. This is the way you need to swing trade. And um, this one is a manual, this one is automated. But uh, once like right now we got down all the way here, you take the needle and you protect yourself to one because now you are protected and then you take the second one here. So this way you are staying with the line all the way. Today is a Friday, it could be all the way down to uh, 70, 67. So if there's any pullback right now on the CL, it's gonna be rejected at uh, 71.19. This is a, a really serious uh, number here is the 71.18 and followed by heavy resistance at uh, 71.21. So this is where by using a trailing stop, you will never get a big trade. A dummy trailing stop will make you go out of the trade with hardly any money. So if we notice right now on the, because we have the double resistance, look, we have the double resistance. So any pullback right now is gonna be rejected by this number and if the CL went above those numbers, the 7127, so there is no use to stay on that trade. At least you can give one of them away, you know? So if we notice you are sitting comfortably with your trade and you know you are protected. Why we are protected? Because those two lines and there is a projection and there is a double resistance. The, the support become a resistant and they become a double resistant. So we are very well protected above those numbers and the projection number is 71, 71 uh, 27. If this market gonna go above that number, that's mean we need to close that trade. I'm gonna be taking one out and then I keep one protected right there. And this is the name of the game. I mean, if you want to stay on that trade, you can, or if you want to call it off for today, you can call it off. But one of them is out and one of them is out in here. I will take this one, hide it be, be, be behind the major resistant. And I have the second one here. So it's also protected above the projection. Now, if you like any number you see on your chart, you wanna close your chart, it's very fine. But uh, you never should use a, a dummy trailing stop. Never, never. Uh, on the, on the uh, scalpers, the 150 ticks, those are the B scalpers are doing extremely well. The one minute and uh, uh, 150 ticks, like what we teach in the room, you can use them market order and you can use them limited order on the B scalpers. So right now, if we look on the CL, it is, this is, this is where those numbers we are hanging on. And this is the projection protecting the second stop loss at 71.54. So that's how it is, you know.
it was a much smoother uh, this morning and now we early morning, but now it is a lot of volatility. It's a Friday. And then it smooths out around uh, 1 o'clock, 1.30 afternoon. When everybody go home, this market start taking one direction. I'm expecting this market to go really down today. So we'll see. Um,
the forex uh, today um, i'm not uh, i have no nothing on the forex but the forex today the, we are on the one minute on the forex and you can use the same system uh, on the stocks as well and uh, we are using on the forex the same as the futures one minute and we are uh, having it on a 10,000 on a mini account, not on a full contract. And uh, we have 145 pips on the Forex based on one minute. This is a lot of pips for uh, a mini account. Based on 10,000, that's not bad. And uh, you can use it on Let me see if we can, uh, we can use it also on the stocks. But I'm scared to load so many things on the stocks. And then I'm going to be jamming my, um, I prefer not to do that because the stocks is a lot and we have the Forex and a million charts. So I'm scared it's going to crash Ninja Trader. But uh, you can use it on the stocks, um, and uh, you know what? We we can, we can put fuel in there. We don't have to put all of them. Uh, this is uh, the stocks. 
where this one here is based on 100. And then you can feed the full automated, not the ATM. You don't want an ATM, the stocks. But uh, you can, uh, this one here is based on 100 stock. But you can use the full automated on the stocks. And uh, you fear it. I don't know where, which one is your favorite. Oh, man, look at Cisco. Oh, man, what a price is. But, um, you know, guys, when, um, when I sold my Home Depot stocks, and I made good money out of it back then, I sold for $36 per share. Now is 191. <laughs> and I had, I think I had around 3,000 stocks on the Home Depot. And as I remember, I sold them for $36. And I made money. And I was happy somewhere around New Year's Eve, I guess, somewhere around there. And uh, right now, the Home Depot is uh, 191. Oh, man, that eats me alive. And um, Microsoft, 107, Jesus. Look, we have a new signal. Then you will have the new signal on it. And um, if you have money, you know, you have JP Morgan, you have all of them. If you have money, you can put 100 stock on each, especially the Dow Jones 30. I mean, um, or you can pick up your favorite 10 stocks and you put 100 on each one of them. Uh, I really like to cover the stocks because we used to make a tons of money on the, but I mean, we don't have that much time anymore to, to cover stocks, Forex and uh, futures. I think our hands full no, right now, our plate is very full. So uh, we, but I would like to maybe start covering the, the stocks again. I don't know. We'll see. The things is with the stocks when the market um, um, goes the opposite direction, you're gonna jam your account for a year sometimes, you cannot touch your account. I'm a kind of guy, I do not sell, I add, I don't sell on, on losses, not less if I have to, but um, whatever you can make in a stock, uh, I mean, it is a drag, it takes a long time, you need a lot of money, and then uh, you need to, on a, I, I mean, I cannot be related to a guy trading stocks on $5,000 or 10000 I don't know how they can do it. But uh, but let's say on, on a $200,000 uh, capital, uh, what you need to do, you need to split it to four pieces. Uh, you do not put your 200000 right there. You, you, you split your 200000 to four pieces, and then you start hedging for 50000 and then if you got stuck, then you have another 50 to back up those first 50. And then uh, doing this time, whatever you can take a profit, but uh, always try to, uh, if you wanna trade the stocks, you have to have a right capital. You have to have at least 200,000. In order for you to, to eat a bread out of it, I mean, you have to have 200,000, at least. $25,000 on the stock will not get you anywhere. I mean, now, on our days, even 25,000 didn't do anything because uh, back then, Motorella, I was a heavy trader on Motorella. It was, uh, what, uh, five, six dollars uh, stocks, uh, Intel. Uh, I used to, uh, 
invest a lot with the Intel, AMD, like uh, go long on Intel and short on AMD. By doing this, if the market goes down, the AMD makes money. And um, so always try to, if you want to buy something, try to find their competitors and short out to back up your, uh, uh, your I mean, it is very simple uh, forward with that, but um, I don't understand those guys. They sit down and trade. I mean, maybe, but um, uh, I have a different way I can trade the stocks. I don't know, but, but um, you need to split your account to four and you have to have a capital. And um, if you are a good trader with the futures with $10,000, it's like you are investing $200,000 with the stocks because it takes forever for those stocks to move where on the if you are a good trader on the future you can do much better than the stocks i don't know this is a um i mean i would not trade the stocks if i have less than uh, 200 i would not i'm not going to be sitting eight hours to to uh, grab a few hundred dollars on the on the stocks a day no I will not do that. And even if you buy 10 stocks, you do your homework. Uh, out of those 10, uh, you're going to be whacked three, maybe four, or maybe two out of them. They're going to go to the dumpsters. So they're going to be having losses with that. So I don't know. Each one of us have a different style. Okay, guys. Um, we're waiting. There is nothing on the ES. The ES uh, is a stuck between those two lines. There is nothing on the ES. And um, there is nothing really uh, going on anymore. We are, if you want to, uh, you can go. There is nothing guys, uh, the market is dying on us at this time. We are waiting on a new signal and uh, there is nothing. So we're just waiting on a new signal. I'm gonna stay quiet. There is no use to keep talking. Uh, there is no more trades and uh, you will uh, see uh, the signals come in here on the first column. It tells you short or uh, uh, sell or buy. And it gives you the entry, the target. Right now we are down 27 ticks on this one. Uh, NASDAQ is uh, flat and uh, the YM, we are still on the same trade. Uh, here is your Forex. I don't know, you can see if there is any entry signals on the Forex here. Uh, on the scalpers, they just been going in the circle, not much going on. Uh, this is the scalpers on one minute and uh, 150 takes. And this is the swing trading right here. And as you see, there is, uh, we just going in the circle. There is nothing going on at the moment. And uh, this is your automated trade uh, on the CL. But now I'm going the opposite direction on the CL. I will be taking uh, the 7140 on the CL uh, and um, we'll see what will happen. But this is the auto trade. I'm not gonna be close it. So let it close by itself. I'm not gonna be bothering with it. I'm gonna be uh, quiet and um, if anybody have a question, you're very welcome uh, to Skype me or chat with me on the Skype. Thank you.
did you see? I'm sorry. I thought I was uh, talking and uh, the microphone was off. We had a new signal on the YM and uh, the entry price is 375 and uh, target 488. I don't know how many of you saw that. And um, uh, the CL trade is uh, finished and I think we are going on a new signal on the CL. And uh, for what I said a minute ago, I was ahead of the auto trade. Uh, this is a manual trade. And uh, this one here, uh, now we're about to have on the auto trade, uh, the new signal on the ES, on the CL, I apologize. And uh, I told you about that trade five minutes ago. I showed you that trade here five minutes ago. But it's coming now, the new signal on the, uh, uh, on the uh, uh, automated trade, you will find the signal here on the first column. This one here is a manual and uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, the YM new signal. Let me see if we, uh, on the ES, anything below the 76, I will not take long right now. Anything below the 75, 75, exactly. I will not take any long. Be careful with uh, going long in this direction, folks. Uh, there is a resistance, uh, there is a double resistance, and there is this one here is gonna drive you crazy. So if you are thinking about going long on the ES, uh, do not do that before it closes above the 275. Anything below that number here, Two seven seven five seven five is short. Anything below that number is short. Anything above that number, there is no more shorts. Is long. So for the ones who are trading at home, uh, please be aware of that trade right there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, okay. Uh, the CL took uh, that trade. I'm sorry, I was uh, covering the ES and uh, the target is 71.92. I always like to take the target up. As you see, I was a minute uh, ahead of the, the auto trade signal. And uh, I'm sorry, I was covering the uh, uh, ES, I didn't pay attention when it was, uh, came out here. But um, uh, this is uh, the, maybe some of you did so, uh, see that signal. Usually they come out here on the first column, but I was one minute ahead of the CL uh, signal. And uh, this is a manual and this one is the auto trade. Uh, I'm expecting all the way to the 7181, yes, sir. Uh, on the CL trade, uh, be careful with the 7183, please. Today is a Friday, maybe we can get the way above that. That will be nice to close uh, CL on the way up at uh, 70, 7231 should be very nice trade on the CL. The system have 7192. 
I respect that. But I think the CL will go up uh, to 72.30, closing position at 72.30. There is a new signal again on the gold. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the gold today. Uh, sell entry one uh, 1223, target uh, 1225. Follow us on the sim, please.
a short trade on the Nasdaq, short trade on the ES, guys. The markets start going down. The entry price is right there. You can put a limited order, sell limited order uh, on a SIM, please, 62. I don't know if you can beat that anymore. It's uh, 41.75 is the sell order. But right now we are coming back to the 62 level uh, on the ES. So there is a short trade limited order on the 27.62 uh, limited order sell 2762. Thank you.
this is exactly the number uh, for the ES, the entry. Uh, the entry on the ES, honest sim, please, 2762, 2762. And uh, here is your CL, uh, 2762. And now we are going down with that. Uh, for the ones they follow those, uh, this entry 2762. Uh, on the way down, uh, we have a double support line. So today is a Friday. If you don't want to deal with it, you can close at 5850. Uh, so this is uh, the trade right here at the entry 62 level. And you can exit at 5850 if you want to. Or if you want to, you can have a break even a plus one take and uh, keep it because today is a Friday. There is a lot of potential to the downside today. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But uh, whoever follow on that uh, uh, ES trade, you have two options. Now you got around 15 ticks on that trade, you can close it. Or if you want to stay longer, because today is a Friday, it could be possible we're going to be hitting the target 48.50. So that will be your lucky day. Uh, so there is two options here, uh, guys. Uh, that's... So it's up to you. The market analyzer here, now you have 17 ticks on the trade based on one contract. And it is your option if you wanted to, uh, you wanted to um, uh, close that trade or you want to stay on that trade, you know.
this is an extremely key today on the ES folks for the ones follow the for the ones follow the signal if we are a break in that area here we have a lot of potential whoever stayed on that trade did not close on the 15 ticks of profit right now we are on 22 ticks profit We're about to have a new Uh, there is a new signal on the CL. There is a new signal on the CL. Uh, sell at 7122. Uh, there is a double support area here on the YM. Be careful with it, please. It's a pullback. There is a double support area here. I don't know if you can see it on the YouTube. Uh, we just had a CL entry on the a sell on the CL at uh, 71.22, target 71.81. There is a little pullback on this one. But uh, this is the entry on the CL. And for the ones we, if you go back with this video, we, we give those signals to those in ES and NASDAQ five, 10 minutes ago, you can replay the video. I don't know exactly if it's eight minutes or 10 minutes ago. Now on the NASDAQ, whoever took that one is a 196 uh, takes. And whoever took the ES, he is, if he did not close it on a 15 takes profit, now you are on 30 takes profit, depends where you uh, wanted to exit from those uh, ES and NASDAQ. Uh, there is a pullback, guys. Nothing we can do on a pullback. Today is a Friday. There is a good potential for a huge drop. So, depends how you wanted to play the game. You can play the game. But... Um, I'll be quiet.
How much you got out of those, uh, Robert? What you did, the uh, NASDAQ, ES? How much you got out of them? You still with me, Robert? You got uh, 1200 today after commission. What did you trade the ES? Uh, NASDAQ, did you take the last trade we called? DAX, okay, DAX, NASDAQ, ES. You took the last trade on the DAX and the ES right now? <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you, sir, and uh, wish you, I will send you the, when uh, we are, I will send you uh, the a copy of the seven for the DAX. You're very welcome, sir. Once we are done with here, I will be, uh, you and the others, whoever wants support, we will be doing this. Uh, okay, let's see what we are here. Uh, there is not much going on the, there is uh, the last the last uh, cl the last signal we had it was uh, the cl uh, 5 minutes i think 6 minutes i don't know look at the video why rewind it and um, right now the, we still on the same numbers as the signal on the cl so uh, there is a little pullback on the ES, a little pullback on the NASDAQ, on the YM, and uh, I don't see that much going on. Uh, for the NASDAQ traders, uh, you gotta be uh, careful with the NASDAQ traders. Now, uh, we had the entry, we hit the target, right on line with the target, and actually, there is a potential re-entry right there, uh, right here, right now. There is a potential re-entry uh, at uh, uh, at thirteen fifty. You can re-enter short trade. Do that on a sim, please. And this is a re-entry point right there on the uh, on the Nasdaq. If you wanted to do that, or if you don't want to ruin your uh, your weekend, just stay away from it. I'll be quiet for a while, and I'm so glad today is Friday. You see, this is a re-entry point on the NASDAQ. Came in exactly where we expected, and now it's going down again with the ES and uh, YM. So there is a good potential for the, look at this, right on the clock. And there is a good potential for a huge drop on this all the way to the 34 level. We'll see what will happen on this one here. Okay, I'll be quiet and I'm going to leave uh, the uh, system run.
for for the ones uh, just follow the CL signal, we still hang in on the same numbers on the CL. There is nothing going on, and um, the market is a bit flat. So be careful how you want to play your game today.
Thank you. 